But first, in New at 11 here, a former youth group leader accused of molesting a teenager at her church in Dunedin. Investigators tell us they're now looking into more potential victims. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith is live for us tonight with what he's uncovering from state records. Good evening, Ryan. Paul and Laura, that's right. You know, tonight we've just learned from Pinellas detectives that they are now looking into the possibility of more victims and that this Dunedin woman used her position within a local community church to advance a sexual relationship with a 15 year old girl. Investigators say the victim spent two nights at Heather Matizik's Dunedin home. Matizik was 28 years old at the time. The victim coming forward four years later, reporting her former church youth leader kissed her and rubbed her body. This allegedly happening over a nine month span while both attended the Clearwater Community Church. The sheriff's office states at the time it was not uncommon for youth leaders to spend time with their groups outside of the church setting. We're told Matizek has since left the church. Doing through a church and obviously knowing better what she was doing uh, in any in any you know capacity of that. But uh, no, I'm 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 sorry that it all happened. Tonight, state records show she is the owner operator of a Chick Fil A in the Westfield Countryside Mall. She bonded out of jail only hours after her arrest. And just within the last 10 minutes, we received a response from Chick-fil-A corporate stating in part, this is deeply disturbing news. Law enforcement has jurisdiction over this matter, and we are awaiting full facts to inform our actions. We've also learned Pinellas detectives tonight, they are looking into more allegations of similar incidents happening outside of Pinellas County. That's the latest tonight. Ryan Smith live in Pinellas County. All right, Ryan, thank you.